What's up everybody? Dan the Man in the house. I want to welcome you back to Dan the Man's Weekly. Today is Saturday, May 16th, 2020. Yeah, we're still in the middle of mid-May, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and yeah, Memorial Day is next Monday. And Is everybody still safe and still, well, I'm still heavily concerned about the reopenings, but better check your local news, better check uh, ABC's World News, I don't know what's going on, but you guys gotta find out, but yeah, I don't know, but at least we're still safe, at least uh, as long as we keep on safe, you know, social distancing, stay on the fives, and, and stay home if you need to, and yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that's all I need. Okay. Alright, the footage yet again, once again. What you're about to see is Scenes of My Poetry Slam. Yep. Uh, it takes place last Monday, uh, May 11th, during the Barbed Wire Open Mic series, which is hosted once again by Richie Marufo. Yep, that's him. That's Richie. And yeah, it took place uh, last Monday. And since we know May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and uh, that's how I I made this topic about the mental health and saying we gotta be aware. Well, what you're about to find out. So um, my topic is mental health. So you guys gonna like this one. So. All right, check it out. His scenes, my poetry slam, and on it, in honor of Mental Health Awareness Month of this May. Okay, right, check it out. Enjoy. All right, guys, let's go ahead and give it up for our next performer. You know him from his weekly video blog series, Dan the Man's Weekly. That's right, the man with the master plan. Let's go ahead and make some noise for Dan the Man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Richie. How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, first off, uh, cool poetry performances by, uh, uh, uh who, 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 uh, wait a minute. Uh, uh, uh okay. Uh, who is it? Uh, uh, okay, I'm trying to find... Uh, was it D signs and the other one, uh, the, the guy before me? What's his name again? Uh, something Sanchez. Um, it's Robert. Robert. Robert Sanchez. Okay. Uh, again, cool performance. Uh, guys, cool performance, you guys. You guys did an amazing job. Appreciate it. Okay. All right, you guys. Well, I think, as you all know, um, uh, the May is uh, Mental Health Awareness. And, you know, last April was uh, Autism Awareness Month and, yeah, po National Poetry Month since last April. But, um, yeah, this has a bit concerning me about mental health issues and, yeah, somebody dealing with these, it, a lot of problems and uh, something like that. But um, I think I, I did some poetry on this one. I just finished. I hope you'll like this one. <sighs> Sorry. Sorry, my nose is beginning to whiff. I don't know what the hell's going on with that. Okay. All right. And it is called Mental Health. <clears throat> okay. Mental Health. Um, give me a minute. Okay. <clears throat> mental Health. Uh, I, I don't mean uh, mental wealth. I don't... This I, I'm talking about mental health. It's something about a condition of a, of a person... Uh, regarding, it's kind of like regarding of their psychological well-being as a result also an emotional well-being and it's also in their relating to a social well-being. You guys know what I mean. Mental health. It's not, it is not stealth nor common wealth. <laughs> okay. Well, as y'all know, these are the important, these are the signs of all the, um, all the, these are the signs of the mental health that are that is effect that is a state of someone functioning in the level in the levels like saying um saying depression bipolar anxiety stress 
PTSD, ADHD, COPD, OCP, um, phobia, shame, uh, addiction, uh, mental disorder, and schizophrenia, globophobia, uh, claustrophobia, kleptophobia, addiction, bulimia, and <clears throat> yeah, and these are kind of, yeah, uh, among others, these are kind of uh, mental health and could be substance or maybe abuse or something like that or stigmata, but um, yeah, these are, among others, well, these are the signs of mental health. Uh, we must be aware of this majority. We must share these awareness. These are rare that, that, that those cannot be in the chair forever. They cannot be forever in a chair. Well, um, among other hundreds of signs of of mental health this is the majority that we can help that change that to help to deal with those signs those issues those problems those things could be a bit hazard or those could be on life on the line and I think you already know where that's going well we gotta be aware I'm sorry we got to be aware um, of the mental health because we want to help deal with it, uh, deal with those results, and to bear with them, deal, deal with this outcome, to live on and out of strife, make, and we could still make them a happy life. All right. This is mental health. I do not mean wealth. I this is mental health. I mean this is not this is not stealth nor commonwealth. It's uh, psychological well-being, emotional well-being and social well-being. And we we still want to be aware of mental health and to bear with the, to deal with someone to bear like bear with us. And this is mental health. All right. Thank you. How's everybody? How is it? Cool, man. Very important topic. Appreciate that. All right. Everybody, what do y'all think? Uh, everybody? Uh, <laughs> uh, do, do I like you want... the, uh, keep going. That was yeah, awesome. Yeah. Do you want to clap? Thank you. Keep it up, yeah, yeah, it's good. Thank you. All right, guys. Okay, guys. Yeah, since uh, I know May is uh, is Mental Health Awareness Month, so we've got to be aware of these, and it's all throughout April. And um, if anybody wants to help uh, help those people who are dealing with these health, um, we can help them. And uh, I got a few friends like these uh, who are who are dealing one with one of with one of these mental health uh, some things like that and. Just, uh, just make sure they're on the pot. Make sure they have to stay positive, not on the negative side, but they have to stay positive and help battle through these. So, um, so, um, yeah, and help them make a help them make a better life. They continue on to live to live on to the rest of their life. That's what I mean. If you guys know what I mean. Okay. All right, you guys. Um. All right, you guys. So um, I want to say uh, thank you, guys. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, and uh, um, the links right down. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll leave the link on the chat, and uh, find my um, find my channel on YouTube. I just uh, uh, just yesterday I just did the scenes of my poetry slam from uh, a week ago on Monday. Uh, you guys missed it, and um, looks like next Monday. I might do I might do a, a poetry about the the band uh, about the band from the from South uh, uh, about the band from uh, Jacksonville, Florida. Uh, they are the GFM band. Well, I think you guys are gonna like this one on next Monday. So just hang tight. All right, guys. Um, thank you very much. All right, back to you, Richie. Right on. Thank you, Dan. Always appreciate you jump, jumping in and doing your thing. Mm -hmm. Um, all right, we're going to keep going. Uh, right on, man. I love Kit here on the Zoom chat. I, I got to say it, man. Dan's as much as part of the El Paso open mics as the mountains are. So, uh, 
keep keep uh, keep living large there. Uh, appreciate it. Kit's gonna be reading in just a little bit. In fact, um, I just saw that Victoria Molinar joined the chat. Welcome, Victoria. Always great to have you. And uh, she's saying that one of these days she'll join us as well. And, and you guys who are performing, tell her it's not that bad, right? Um, all right. Uh, roll, quick roll call, because I, I see people who are signed up who aren't here. Or um... Okay, yeah, and that was uh, scenes of my poetry slam. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, thank you, Richie. And um, I don't know. And uh, thanks to the uh, to the to the sisters who praised my who praised my poetry. And uh, thanks to the rest who praised my poetry. But thank you very much. So far, all of you guys. And I apologize on Kit Ren. I was supposed to screen it back to me. And I was supposed to say that. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Okay. All right. Um. Again, thank you, Richie. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Uh, Victoria, wish I <laughs> wish you would have seen me. Okay. Alright, as I mentioned, uh, mental health, yeah, you know, like, I don't mean wealth, I meant health, like, a uh, condition of a person, and I was talking about my emotional well-being, or social well-being, and, and psychological well-being, yeah, it's called about, talk about mental health, it's not stuff, nor common wealth, you know what I mean, and it, there are several, several, there are a lot of signs of, uh, of depressions, I'm sorry, there are a lot of signs of dep uh, of those mental health, you know, like depression, bipolar, anxiety, stress, PTSD, HDHD, COPD, OCP, OCD, or mental disorders, uh, claustrophobic, uh, addiction, bulimia, abuse, among others. Yeah, those are the mental health issues, though. There are signs about that. But we got to be aware of this. It's uh, like a majority of these, uh, the awareness. And, and like you say, you say, can't be in the chair forever. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. Like... Like, there are hundreds of signs of mental health. There are majorities that, is there a chance that we can help, uh, help the people with those who are dealing with these issues like the mental health and uh, we can help uh, deal with them make it a make it a, a positive attitude and uh, we can't be negative you know we can help uh, help uh, deal with these problems you know like deal with help bear with this and then we could um, we could uh, we can uh, express this outcome and help uh, help live a better life you know what I mean and not out of strife if you know what I mean yeah, this is like say um, we. Th this is like how we dealing with uh, mental health that we gotta be aware of this. Yeah, you know? and so that's why I'm dedicating this one for the Mental Health Awareness Month right here in May. So, and that's why I say this is mental health. I don't mean wealth. I mean mental health is not stealth nor common wealth. Yeah, you know? it's like uh, it's it's a condition about a person regarding with the psychological well-being, emotional well-being, and um, especially um, social well-being, if you know what I mean. So, yep, and that's about mental health. we got to be aware of that. Hmm, yeah. Okay, and uh, yep, and have I mentioned the, uh, and have I mentioned the GFM band? Yeah, I'm gonna make a poetry out that. So, uh, so I'm asking, I'm asking uh, if there's a chance you guys uh, catch it on uh, 8 p.m. on Mountain Standard Time. Uh, that will be 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. But uh, um, so I'm gonna make a poetry out of this one for the GFM band, uh, Maggie, Lulu, and CJ. So that guy's gonna like you guys are gonna like this one. So I hope you like this one. So <laughs> yeah, that's what I mentioned. So tune in Monday for the scenes of my poetry slam. Yeah, that's right. And um, don't forget if you guys um, if you guys want more of the Barbar Bar Open Mic series, find it on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or their website bordercensus.com. I'll leave the link right down there, so uh, please check it out.
Okay, and don't forget, you can also find it on YouTube. Uh, it's also live stream by YouTube, so um, it will be saved. So, yeah, it's already been documented in live, so you guys, please check it out. I'll leave the link right down there, so please check it out. Or you can find it on YouTube, okay? Yeah, from the scenes from last Monday. Besides my poetry slam, but everybody else's poetry slam. But you guys are gonna like this one. So, all right, please check it out. And that's not all. If you guys missed out on three of my previous scenes of my poetry slam from uh, a week ago on May the fourth, or or two of them, and the first two in April. So, uh, guys, guys want to check it out. So, uh, the links right down there. The the previous, uh, the first three of one. So. Um, yeah, you guys are like it. Check it out. All right. Okay. Um. Like I said, I want a huge shout outs to Richie B. Wams, also Erica Tilly, also known as Conrad Faya, <laughs> yep. Kit Wren, Victoria Molinar, uh, Mata Moscas, well, that's Jeremy Silva, Nicholas Silva, um, Thomas Dinajero, uh, Charita Gonzalez, um, Chelasi Sanchez, uh, I'm sorry, well, I, I got bar from ATX, uh, very good poetry, my friend. Isaac Shiftcar, very nice music, man. Zach Brown, uh, Jake Diaz, Denise, um, Denise Sanchez, and, um, and among others. So, um, for those who make their poetry slam, I say sad shouts to you guys. Yeah, right. And um, also, speaking of uh, poetry slams or performances, as I may recall, the 306 Sessions uh, concert series as I mentioned on my previous blog. Or Yeah, as I mentioned, um, it served a gathering place for an artistic community, and and now they're, we're asking the community to gather together to help support our beloved local institution throughout the unpre unprecedented and difficult time. It was during the coronavirus. Yeah, I know, but ever since during the coronavirus, ever since this difficult time, the the, the 306 sessions concert series was is about to go on peril, and. Um, yeah, so all we're asking is uh, we may need your help. Uh, we have set a GoFundMe page right there, so please uh, help. Any donation will do. Anything, whatever, whatever you can to keep the to help keep the 306 sessions studi studios alive. Yeah, and um, and there's a there's a video tour of the of the 306 session studios uh, right there. Yeah, and uh, the GoFundMe page has already been set, and oh yeah, I gotta check out that that 306 uh, for some changes right there. Yeah, there's a video right there, so uh, please, um, really need help with your donation. Donate whatever you can to help keep the 306 sessions alive. So I'll leave the the links right down there. I'll also leave it on Facebook and especially on Twitter, and I'll try to do it on Instagram. Okay, so please uh, donate whatever you can. So please uh, keep posting on the 306 sessions concert series, and please help.
Uh, and we'll send a huge shout outs to Thomas, Danny, Christopher Mack, Miss Fee, and, and Vaughn, and the rest of the cast and crew of the 306, and that includes Vaughn as well. So, um, and especially uh, my good friend Chang, the founder of the 306. So, um, please, uh, shout out to you guys, and let's, let's help out. Okay, and um, also I want to send a huge shout out to Roxy Rock. She's making a music video of Neon Lights, so um, shout out to you, Roxy. Also to uh, Nicole Osborne, cool performance by Facebook page. Um, did an excellent job. Thank you, Nicole. And especially uh, Lauren Corzine, she made her uh, performance last Friday the, at the BOA uh, Spotlight. And it's, um, yeah, she made her performance live by live stream on Facebook. And uh, it was benefiting for the food bank of the Rio Grande Valley. And that, that was a very nice cause right there. And um, she did make her performance. And it's a, um, a great, outstanding performance, Miss Corzine. Oh, don't forget the, the Corzine effect on YouTube. Please check it out. Okay, shout out to you, Ms. Corzine. Okay, and last but not least, the GFM band. Yep, I'll make that poetry for them on Monday. You guys are going to like this one, okay? Yeah, which already gotten started. Okay. All right, you guys, that is it. Um, Again, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I'll uh, be aware of my next uh, poetry slam performance and don't forget, on Monday. Yep, and don't forget my scene... And don't forget my next regular blog on either Tuesday or Wednesday, so I'll keep you guys posted. Alright guys, guys, stay safe, and hope you guys enjoyed scenes of my poetry slam from last Monday on mental health awareness. Y'all know what to do. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Message me. Like my page on Facebook. Be sure to subscribe me on YouTube. Hashtag Dan the Man's Weekly. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, this is Dan the Man Tennessee. Signing out.